They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into the mic, I'm talking taste buds. Hey, taste buddies, it's the Taste Buds Podcast. I'm Joe DeRosa. I'm Sal Volcano. What's up with you today, dude? No, nothing's up with me. I'm gonna come coming in hot. I'm gonna come in hot on this one. What's Ooh, what's up? No. You coming in hot? No way. No, see, see, that's what? the energy I'm getting right well, now. No, not even close. No, I you're can't. in your head. You're in your head. I'm not in my head. I'm, I swear, I'm not I, in my head. I know when I'm in my head. Are you I'm, upset? I'm you're just upset because you're coming off an L from a substitute last week. Uh listen, we're gonna talk about that in a second. You took a big L. You couldn't even beat a novice. This is the first. You couldn't even beat a novice. This and you lost with chocolate cake. <laughs> Should you be considering your options now? Should you be collecting unemployment from the Taste Buds podcast? I mean, most of Chris's argument was in support of chocolate cake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're going I heard, off of... I, I saw the comments. I don't even think... Chris really even put up a fight. No, we 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 we, we it was it was a blind. I'll che- tell you right now, cheesecake won on blind faith on the poll. Bees blown, bees are blown. <laughs> I mean, you had chocolate cake. If I had to pick the biggest powerhouses of all time, it's like pizza. You know, I don't know. Yeah, pasta. pizza. <laughs> Go ahead. No, I mean chocolate cake is up there, man. It's, it's way like a, up it's, there. It's really like just really up there. It's way up there. You know what I think hurt me? Cheesecake Factory. I think people have really, you, you were dealing with a generation of people that have grown up now with Cheesecake like Factory. Like the factories where they just, well, they make cheesecakes in factories. No, the restaurant, Sal. What do you mean? The, the you Cheesecake Factory. factory. <laughs> the they restaurant pump, they, Cheesecake Factory. The restaurant Cheesecake Factory. Are you being funny right now? Are you being serious? <laughs> I'm not. What do you mean? Am I I being funny? What do you mean? Am I being funny? (laughs) You chocolate cake versus cheesecake. I'm saying. You know what I think hurt my argument on the poll. The fact that that what that just we're dealing with a generation of people now that have lived their whole lives with the cheesecake factory. When I was a kid, that didn't exist. What in their town? I'm saying they just had factories. That's like a McDonald's, but they just pump out cheesecakes. Like on a like just pump them out. What is this bit you're doing? (laughs) It's not that good of a bit. (laughs) I thought you were serious. It was a good bit when you were like, are you serious? But then when you just kept doing it, I knew you weren't serious. I tried to commit. Yeah, why did that happen? You believe me. I stayed true to the con, and then you 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 hung in there good. You hung in there good. You stopped believing. You were the opposite of Journey. (laughs) You stopped (laughs) believing. And by the way... These are the first smiles I've seen out of you all day, which is why I'm saying, what's going on with you today? Don't project you, you on me. I'm not. I'm in a good mood today. You came downstairs uh, when I arrived, kind of straight-faced. and then I got a lot banging around up here. <laughs> we had a real serious, it was an almost somber merch conversation we had, I would say. A merch <laughs> memorial. Yeah. Was, there was zero joy in that. Then we were talking about somebody famous whose names we will not name. And Sal was going, we heard that this guy might be a jerk. And Sal was going, why is he a jerk? And I started going, I called this two years ago. I've been telling you for two years this guy's a jerk. And not a smirk, not a, you, you did, no, buddy. You no, did. No, but, Maybe a little excitement. Like, you know what? You did. Yeah, because you can't claim that you called this person a jerk because you have left a wake of jerk calling. And... <laughs> You, you, you call everyone a jerk. It's almost never so wrong. Yeah. So you can't hit one and be like, called it. But I mean, just to laugh out of your buddy. Like, no, I know, but I, I, I forgot that you called that. That hurts even I can, more. I can, re- I can remember the top line people you think are jerks. I don't know if he was, yeah, you know what? Now that you mention it, you did you did take a stand against It was a person. whole trip. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And we heard a story that might confirm that. Yes. But I I, I, I didn't want to immediately go to besmirching. I got you. I got you. But it was the second time in this very room a two-year call on my part took place. What was the other Off one? air. I can't say the name. Oh, wow. <laughs> I can't say the name. Okay, but it was the second time in two in 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 six months that, that your that your labeling of someone as NG for came two to fruition. years that was argued by you was confirmed by the great pimp. Really? Yes. Uh, I it's wish I second, even knew who we were talking about. That's now. the second time it happened. Now I All have right. a question for you. 
should should the result of the last episode not count the episode with Chris, or should we let the fans it decide? Absolutely, so should not count. I think we let the fans decide. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm fine with that. I, I I am I see your point. Let me let me make this clear. I see your point, and I haven't settled on what I think yet because I, honestly, if you won. I could be saying the same thing about my record. Like well, I, I wasn't there to defend it. I think it. it's fair he gets a sub. That's true. Well, here's the thing, though. I get to have a sub sitting for me? You get to pick a sub. Yeah, but wait a second. There's a lot more to it than just a sub. We got to remember here. Cheesecake won on blind faith of the poll. Okay? Joe, the, so the, my the sub poll gets... The blind faith every week. I know. I know. But I'm saying, though, my sub... <laughs> so you can't... You can't so, so if I took cheesecake, would it have been the no, same? No, I'm saying you better give my sub the upper hand food then. Well, going into that, didn't we all believe that chocolate cake was the upper hand food? I, I thought it was going to be a close heat. I, I did not think I would have chocolate cake would have lost by the margin that it did lose. What was the finals there? Uh, I have to recheck, it but was it, like, it, was de- it was a decent loss. Did, did we not put up terrible. the score or something? No, no. no what's a, up? That was an episode where you guys never said the score, so I didn't remember what coffee versus tea's percentage was. But you we, never we said, said who won or who lost. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. you, you de- didn't you demolish me? Was Babe, it? I got bad news for you. Even if we count the cheesecake win on your part, I'm beating you in two out of three tiers. There's only one tier. No. It's not record, is it not? No, there's the record tier. <laughs> there's the percentage tier. Yeah, but that's because someone made a chart there's with the, the margin tier. I'm way past margin. I'm way past you. Babe, on this on this very babe. show, you pointed out how important the margin difference was. No, and you and you balked at it. I said it's but a, it was it's in my favor. Statistic. It was show. in my favor. And you said I don't give a shit. Wait, you tell we got to do it like sports though. A record. I mean, and, I, and believe me, there's a lot more show left. I, I, we're only separated by a win or two. I could to- totally take the, a loss still. But I'm, I'm saying, like, how do you go? Be, do, then we have to right now determine what is the meaningful Pimp, statistic. What do you think, Pimp? I think just the overall wins. Just who won how many matches. I, I, I don't know. I don't mind. I don't mind the disparity as well. But then you need a tiebreaker. Then you need a tiebreaker. Well, the tiebreaker is the third tier that I'm also winning in. <laughs> the t- there are three tiers. What's the tiebreaker? Two out of three should win. What's the, what's the third tiebreaker? Look breaker? at the chart. Look at that wonderful chart. Can we bring that chart up, Pimp? Let me- Coffee won 65-35. Coffee beat T 65-35 to 35 after 34,000 votes. No, 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 no. At the end of the episode, it was not 65-35. At the end of the episode, it was like 62-48 or something like that. But But... Sixty-two forty-eight. It was not that big of a margin at the end of the uh, when we. Oh, so it was closer than sixty-five thirty-five. Yes, that's what I'm saying. It was even closer. Yeah, it was not that bad. I don't know because I remember Chris going, "That's huge," and I was like, "Nah, dude, that's actually not that big for this show." Wait, I mean, Chris' episode was actually fifty-six forty-three. Yeah, so that's a big oh, difference between wow, sixty-five that's thirty-three. Yeah, that's yeah, close. You can you believe Rice Krispie Treat versus S'mores? How did that end up? Did Tr- you treats you, one? Right now, I have it at by 1%. Well, because you never took the poll down, though. No, no, it ends after a day. Oh, it does? Yeah, 24 oh, okay. hours I keep them up for. I know you've told me that many times. But that I'm 1%, sorry, that remember. is rematch. Oh, no, that's where I took a... That's where I really got... Margarita versus Martini was 83-17. So at the bottom of this... So so this, is, this, is, this isn't the current thing, Pimp. Uh, I saw it on Twitter. We'll have to find it. But but the 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 wonderful fan that that made the original thing, right? What's that called? A spreadsheet? Uh, she, I, I believe it was a she. She keeps updating. She keeps updating it, and she's added yet another uh, category to it. So it's three. It's a three right, tier victory. Hold on, hold on. Power to the people, no problem. But just because she's making spreadsheets and and shooting them at you <laughs> on social media doesn't mean that that's going to be the barometer by which we choose who wins wins the I'm season. I'm saying she we made, need to have a thoughtful conversation. She made a true stati- This is my wife. You're talking about first of all. <laughs> no, she she made a true statistical spreadsheet, and I'm saying it contains three tiers. It, t- it contains percentage of win. Majority percentage, it contains total wins, and it contains... There's a third tier there. I can't speak to it right now, Joe. I can't even see any of that. This is the spreadsheet, right? All right, yeah, scroll down. Did so someone Sal's send got, you this, Tim? Well, yeah, no, the lady sent me this. See, now this is saying Sal has... No, this isn't Let's the one. Let's go to the glass. This isn't the up-to-date one. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, up-to-date. Yeah. I don't oh, have okay. the link to that one. I'm not sure where you saw that. I have the link to it here. Hold on a second. Let me Let me pull it up right here. 
But while he's pulling that up, I so pretty much what Joe's saying, he gets one sub, but it has to be an even matchup. But I will make the case, he was there and lost, right? Bad. So if he was... No, I didn't lose I didn't lose bad. I lost 56... T- <laughs> oh, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. We get, we, you know, emotions run high around here. Hold on, I'm looking for the thing. Do I get his win? No. All right, I... How do you get a win when somebody played the game for you? That doesn't because count. Because if I chose cheesecake in that instance, then that would have been the vote. If also, somebody subs in for Tom Brady, it still counts for the team. Oh, that's right. By the way, shout guess out, what? Tom shout Brady. Out Tom Brady. <laughs> if how about this? How about this? I was the one doing the show that needed to be done. Well, uh, King shit over here is off on vacation. <laughs> how about that? If I was on the bench and my team win, I still get the ring. Oh, you son of. Let- Speaking of rings, shout out uh, Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Bucks. Now, this guy became the oldest guy in the NFL. He won, wins the Super Bowl at 43 years old in Tampa. First year with Tampa, first time it's ever synced up with a Super Bowl is in the home team that's playing stadium. Right. Shout out to him. He's doing amazing things. You can't deny him almost anymore. But I would be remiss if I didn't give a little shout to Patrick Mahomes and okay. the organization that is the Kansas City Chiefs because they're young, they got bright futures ahead, and uh, they're really proving themselves. So, What's the bit you're doing right now? I'm just letting you know that the, the Super Bowl just happened. and The that Super Bowl t- happened? Correct. Tom Brady won with the Tampa Bay Bucks. I don't get the bit you're doing. I'm trying to find the our bit. chart. What's He's, he doing? He was 43. He, Tom Brady was the oldest person in the NFL. Is this, this year. is this him being like, I, I, he's Tom Brady? What's the bit? Why are you laughing so hard? You're not getting what I'm saying, dude. I don't get what you're saying. I'm shouting out Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Bucks for winning the Super Bowl. Okay. He won it as the oldest person playing active in the NFL, which is a feat in and of itself. He okay. won it in his departure from the Patriots in his first year with the Bucks. He won it when it just so happened the Super Bowl was in Tampa Bay. These things all aligned to make quite a footnote in history. I'm giving him a shout out, but I would be remiss if I didn't call out Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs who had a stellar year, who had a championship under their belt the year before, who are young and bright and certainly have a long career ahead. Okay. That's all I'm doing. No, you're doing something else. I just don't understand because my, my concentration is on my phone so I can find the stupid chart. I'm also vamping while you scroll social media. I'm trying to find the chart. I mean, Tom Brady's the beer of the NFL. He Is he? You what does that me. mean? Does that mean you think beer's going to win? I don't know. All right, well, it's Our beer versus, versus wine today. Beer versus wine. Yeah. <laughs> Joe, I, Joe is so into this. I can't find this, this chart. Wine. You know it by clicking. What you don't know is who has what. And if you do know us, then you might be able to guess. Uh, I think they're, no, I actually think they're going to, well, actually, give it, you're right. Yeah, you might be able to guess. I, I don't know who I would guess who took what on this one. In some cases, I would guess that you took wine. In some cases, I would guess that I took wine. I would Agree with you, and I will say another thing. I can't thing. find this goddamn thing. I, I just wrote to the girl. Is this it here? Okay. Is this the new one? There you are. Oh, yeah. Also, Sal, I, I introduced the concept of eating the fried tarantula as a punishment to Joe. Yeah. And he said only with the advice of a doctor. Okay. Okay. So I my, wouldn't do that in a... My, I, don't know, um, I, would need, I would need 70... Was it 75,000? My total points are higher than your total points. Points My just average means, is whoa, better whoa, than your average. Hold on, bro. But you have more wins than I do. Hold on. What does total points mean? Okay, that's percentage points. Okay. So you have won by more higher percentage points. Yes. So your margin of victory on your wins is greater than mine, but I have won more matchups. I want you so to how do you how do you account for those two things? I would say it's three different tiers. But I just want you to take a look at the top it doesn't make any sense to six me. Six landslide victories. Who holds four of them? That's me. Oh, are these in order of, of margin? Yes. No, they're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not in order, buddy. Oh, no, they're in order of episode. I'm sorry. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. So those aren't what you said. Those aren't the top okay. six. I do currently maintain, Pimp, if I'm not wrong, though, and you can look at this a little better than I could right now, I contain the majority of landslide victories or the biggest landslide but, victories. But, but, but why would that matter? 
It matters like, in total it, points. It, Why does it matter? If the Tampa Bay Bucks lose a game 50 to nothing and win the next 15 games, you're they're 15 beating and me. one. What does it matter how bad the loss You're was? beating me. It ain't the game. It's the player, son. <laughs> it's the player. You're dealing with Jordan. <laughs> Wait, you're dealing what? with Jordan on the Wizards right now. All right? I'm confused. Who's Jordan on the Wizards? You're, I'm Jordan on the Wizards. As soon as I'm Jordan on the Bulls, you don't stand a chance. All right? <laughs> I'm having trouble... This is not tracking for me. All right? You know who you are? You're Rodman on the Bulls. <laughs> what does that Your mean? Your team's carrying you. Your team's carrying you. When it comes down to it, and you are was Jordan. Were, were the Wizards winning when Jordan was on no. it? No. Jordan couldn't carry the whole team himself, but he was the best player on that team. You better bet your ass. <laughs> And I get back. But you're a one-person team. And I get back onto a. Who else would be better than you on your? And own I get team? back onto a. Sol- this is a great analogy. <laughs> Please I get- continue, because I I want to pick it apart. <laughs> <laughs> Please, because I I think you're off the res. <laughs> you I don't even understand. Uh, like again, like <laughs> it, so it, so so if we if we did th- if the, if we did five episodes right, mm-hmm. and. I get and it. I won, I and I won ma- four of the five. I understand. 51 to 49. I understand. And you won the fifth one, 99 yes. to one. You would win the season I with a one and four record because you have a better, bigger margin I of victory? I understand by sports context, by strict sports context. I, know. I gave you just it's, specific no, I, I'm asking, context with only I, us. I know. Hold on a second. I understand that if we look at it as a sports season and we do it along those lines, okay, that it's wins is always the win, right? But that's not all wins in life. There are other there are other competitive things where a per, a higher percentage performance percentage makes you the winner. There's absolutely is stuff like that. Well, hold on a second, okay. Sometimes like the way that look at uh, gymnastics, for instance. The nature. I, I'm lost. I'm lost. How are you lost? I am lost. Gymnastics is based on po- a point percentage win. That's how you win. It's point percentages. So are we doing fifty battles according to point percentages? My point is, is if you looked at this chart as as a football season, you won fine. If you looked at it as a gymnastics competition, <laughs> I'm winning. That's what I'm saying. I don't understand what you don't get it. <laughs> Would get you it like to play this with gymnastics rules then? I'd like to play it with both and say, and then add that third tier and say, you got to win all what three. What is the third tier? The third tier is the average at the very bottom. What the, f- what does the average matter? It's your average score. My average score is higher than your average score. Average matters a lot. Ever heard of learning curve? Ever heard of how that affects the entire class? Uh, let me say a couple of things. You you completely, completely skirted past my perfect example to put your theory to the test, which is if we had five matches and five matches only, and I won four of them by a margin of 51 to 49, and you won one of them by a margin of 99 to 1, and I was 4 and 1, but you had a higher average and a bigger margin of victory because that one lopsided victory. Would you win with a one and four record? Couldn't win one. You couldn't win a lopsided vic. That you couldn't do that. You, uh, for for it to be the lopsided the lopsided victory to win on percentages, it still has to be a comparable heat. You couldn't. There, there's. I don't understand how one ninety nine to one would beat your four other victories. Because my margin of victory on the four other ones was fifty one forty nine, so I won by a percentage point each time. So I won by four oh, total percent saying. over four episodes. I see what you're saying. But you win by ninety percent margin of victory on your one win. Well, that's a, that's a very fair point, but that's not what we're dealing with here. It is only <laughs> what we're dealing with, just for thirty five episodes. It's the only thing where I just put it to down to five. I mean, episodes. it's funny. It's funny that she put percentages and averages into the scoreboard. It's funny that you don't know who she it is. is, it is. And she's dictating the terms I mean, of this podcast. I mean, she included it for a reason. This is the most professional spread she'd have ever seen in my looks life. Like a, I don't deny. Looks like a man. Is it a man that did it? Ozzy? Oh, I thought it was a girl that did it. I, I, forget. I think someone woman, did the chart me. and then someone else did the... I don't know. God bless you, whoever you are. Whoever did it. The point is this. Those numbers are there for a reason. Joe, answer my prop, my question though. That in that scenario, would you say you would win at, at a one in four record because of one lopsided victory? No, I'd say that's a pretty good exception to the rule. But uh, again, but if you're going to base that is exactly the scenario. I, I, it, it, 
it's not at a bigger scale. It's not exactly the scenario because there is no ninety nine percent to one. You know that but that's you beat impossible. me margarita to martini eighty three seventeen because more people like margaritas. Of course, that's why that right. Happens. And we're also doing a year's work. We, no gymnastics person wins because they landed what one. Are you, what are you doing? Are we not gymnastics? Or fi- why figure skating is a better figure skating is a better example. Figure skating, yeah. You don't just want to do what is globally known as the record keeping for most professional sports record. It's not a professional sport. You want to divert to sport. freestyle We're not swimming. playing a professional sport. This is debate team. Debate team, there's categories of wins. A debate team doesn't win based on you won, you lost. Just they win. Keep, hold on. Keep in they, mind. They win on argument, f- uh, facts, knowledge, information, presentation. They're, that's why I'm saying statistical evidence matters but, but, but these are blind polls bro it's just that we are hitching our wagon we're betting the ponies is all we're doing the, this is our betting record okay okay you okay. understand then 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 that's fine we're but, giving we're, get, we're we're letting everyone take the journey with us and we're be, while people don't know the results we're swaying their opinions so that when they get the results they have firmly planted maybe they didn't have a side and then maybe our argument made them say you know what i choose that side and then the the, the and then the popular voting is revealed, and then we all understand who was in line right. and who wasn't in line. All right. But you, you understand the, the, the microcosm of five episodes, the theory behind it is the same when you expand it to 50 episodes. I know that, but you're using an extreme, extreme example. I think I'm using the most basic example. No, you're, what you're using is, is is a scenario that would never take place. You would never have four episodes where you won by 1% and one episode where I won by 99%. But that would never Joe, in a million years The semantics years of the argument are the same. I'm just illustrating I, I, I that. I get it. I get to it. show the relationship to the entire chart I is get still it. the same. I get it. You, but I, I don't know if you do. <laughs> I get it. All I'm saying to you is is there's a reason those percentages are put in there at the bottom. Because the girl put no, them they're, in. they're only put in there because that's the only information we feed the audience. There's no, no, those no. two number sets. Babe, no, not those two number I sets. Don't even... But there's a re- if, if it was a matter of just straight up wins to this audience, it would just say straight up wins. There's a reason there's <laughs> better averages listed at the bottom. Because we put percentages. I'm just saying. Sweetheart, let me tell you something right now. I swear and to God. you said that that Babe, was an important I, number. I, I, that's what was going to be my next sentence. You're not letting me finish. All right, go ahead. I, yeah, I'm up by two two wins, three if you count, Chris, and we're going to leave it up to the fans. Because I understand if I wasn't there and I took... Let's say you won. Then I could be like, ah, oh, man, I, I wouldn't have counted it. Okay, well, that that... If that's the truth, that's the absolute truth. Then I, I'm fine. Then I fall... I, li- don't, I don't think a show... Look, as you said, it's... Yeah, sure. Tom Brady gets the ring but either way. There's a team of Tom people. Brady and the there's a team of people I playing. Mean, <laughs> okay, Pete Sampras can't skip the tennis match, and then somebody fills in for him. That this is tennis. This is not football. Okay. Yes, that's a great point. I, no, that's a great point. What I said, or what you said. <laughs> what I said. <laughs> I didn't say anything. I'm saying you're using a football analogy. Okay, you you are um, a little off with your sports analogy. No, I'm I don't know if you watch sports. Does Pete Sampras not play tennis? He he he. I think he's a famous tennis player. I don't okay. know if he still plays. Is okay, he alive? fine. Name any other famous tennis player. Okay. Sure. My point is this: you made the point earlier to defend you getting Chris's win as, hey, if Tom Brady's on the bench, he still gets the win in the ring. <laughs> That my was point, a silly throwaway joke. Okay, but what my I point mean is more this: is that the, the, the polls are my blind. My point is this: so if I was okay. sitting that cheesecake, it would have been the same voting. But we never would have done that matchup if it was you. My okay, point is, I enough. did it because Chris loves but cheesecake. If no, the fans, that, this is fair. If the fans vote that it counts, do you agree to the no. terms of? You don't agree. We would have never. <laughs> so it's not going up to fan vote. We've n- hold on a second. Let, no, I look. I got to have some say in this right now. We're not doing a fan vote on my statistics thing. I'm dropping it. I'm giving you the wins, the best of wins. But, but let me just. Okay? Can I also just finish a point that? I'm agreeing with you. Yeah. I said it in the past. I think the margin of victory is an important number. And when you're looking at the entire season and our records, I do think it is important here. However, and and, and I'm not just saying it because it could switch. There's plenty of show left. Oh, yeah. So I'm not just arguing record because I have two wins on you. That could, the tides can change here real fast. You got three wins on me. But if you don't count Chris's, I only have two. Okay. Right. Got so, it. and 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 that could flip. So I'm not just arguing because I'm in the league because it could hurt me if if I, if you know what I mean. If if I harp on record and you take the record, then I'm just like, sure. I think that the statistical number is important, except that I don't think that there's a proper tiebreaker. 
Because if your margin of victory is be- is better, is more, then your average is going to be higher. Those two are directly connected. So they're not a different statistic. They're just proving the same statistic twice because it's it's common knowledge. If your percentage spreads are higher, your number's higher. Your I agree average with you. is going to be okay. higher. I agree with so you that's on that. So not, that third column is not a deciding factor. I agree with you I on don't that. mind putting stock into some of the percentages, but then we need a tiebreaker. I will say I agree with you. that the way, though, that we build matchups a lot of times, we throw zero caution to the wind, and we don't care. Sometimes we, we even know that we're taking a big underdog. We're taking it for the entertainment value of the argument and to stand by a food that we really love, but we know we're taking a big shot. Now, we agreed to do that. So if we're counting percentages, I and we would be more hesitant to, to will-nil just pick an opponent when we know they're going to get slaughtered well, listen, because that's a, a statistic listen, that counts. That's, that's absolutely a fair point. But yeah. that with that said, I have taken way more guaranteed could, losers. Could possibly. Way more. Well, well, it's not way more, Joe. I only have two wins up more than you. <laughs> but you, but, but I'm saying, like you've said to me far more on occasion than I've ever said to you. You're that's a death sentence. What do you think? In my opinion, and I have said, but, but the, and I've the, said, I don't care. Don't I'll lie. do it. Huh? I'm only up by two wins out of thirty. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Let me 30, just say this: 26, 30, Listen, 36 episodes. I, I'm only up by two. I agree with and you. you have a bigger margin. I agree with you that we the the win of the season either has to be just the number of wins. Or the number of wins and percentage points with a decent tiebreaker that we haven't thought of yet. I agree with you. Fans, we're, up, we're all ears. Whatever you, what, what could be that tiebreaker. Mm. Maybe we'll do it that way if we can find a decent tiebreaker. Okay? There's that. Number one. Number two. What I was saying about Chris subbing for you and you getting that win, it's not the same. I know it was a throwaway joke, but it's not the same as saying, well, I had to sit the game out and they, the team still played. It's a wrestling match. It's you versus me. And if you're not there to go for the belt, you don't get the belt. Because that matchup never would have been the same, is my point. <laughs> I, I know, but I agree. All right. I'm over it. I said I, I, I could yeah. see your point. Oh, okay. The, 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 the thing with me, like if I was on the bench and my team wanted to still get the ring, that was just a little fun I was having. I, I don't really... It wasn't fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I no, I get it. I get it. I'm just I, saying. I'm not making a. I, I'm not. I'm not dying on that hill. I was just more of a throw. I am making my other points though, which I think are valid. I'm agreeing to your other points, but I also don't think you should get the Chris win because that matchup never would have taken place. So he's just one and zero in his own league. I think if one of us can't be here, it's just it's just a nice episode for the fans to enjoy the show. I don't even disagree. Yes. All right. All right. All right, so we're all on the same page? Everything's nice. Yeah, everything's nice. Now, did you take beer or wine? Butcher box, butcher box, butcher box. I love butcher box. The amount of meat that I have in my home right now is more meat than I've ever had in my life. Yes. And it's all thanks to butcher box. I know, I love these guys. And thanks to Homeless Pimp, we've got more muscle in the house than we've ever had before. That's exactly right. (laughs) Yes. But But I love ButcherBox for the same reason, man. They're bringing it cheap, affordable, quality, grass-fed, organic meat, free-range, all of it, fresh, wild, caught, all of it, (laughs) right to your door. It's so true, though. It really is true. Like, I don't have to go to the supermarket. And also, they pick out, like, the best stuff. It's all good quality stuff and then they give me the range in one shot i open that b-box babe i load up my fridge and my freezer and then i have what equates to a restaurant and menu you this, i'm a b-boy in my b-box stance that's right okay we're give talking me microphone <laughs> and let we're me talking let me eat my let me eat in my pants we're right, talking nine right. to eleven pounds of meat in each box it's pra- it's packed fresh it's shipped frozen it's vacuum sealed it lasts a long time, but which is even better. You ever come to my house and ring the bell? You're hungry. You tell me, show me your 11 pounds of meat. I'll bring you right to it. I'll always have it here ready for you. What do you want when you come here? You want Alaskan wild caught salmon? Done. <laughs> so check this out. Butcher Box making it even better. Now they're giving members two free lobster tails and two free ribeyes in your first box. These are two high-end date dinners you're getting right out of the gate in the first box. You, you know what share... I drink with that? Some nice wine. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. You can share a high-quality surf and turf meal with your friends or enjoy it by yourself. Go to butcherbox.com slash taste buds. You're going to get two five-ounce lobster tails and two 10-ounce ribeyes for free in your first box. That's butcherbox.com slash taste buds and get those free lobster tails and ribeyes when you sign up for your new membership at butcherbox.com slash taste buds.
I actually have fun ordering it too. Like, no, I do. You just you yeah. just log on. You choose the frequency that you want it. You choose the box you want because they curate like four different boxes yeah. that have different options. Or you can make a custom box that lets you choose like your favorite stuff. Um, they ship your order. It's frozen at the peak freshness, which you said. Eco friendly, 100 percent recyclable box. They're thinking of like all the angles. If there's any reason you'd be like, ah, I don't like to do that, but they took care of it. I love angles, and they're hitting them. If you enjoy quality meat delivered to your door and more time for amazing meals together, butcher boxes for you folks we all shop online i can't stop and when i say i can't stop i mean i won't stop i will shop till i drop that's okay right. i'm buying video games i'm buying clothes i'm buying collectibles i'm buying action figures even though i'm 43 years old and i don't <laughs> care i'm buying on paper you do not sound like the person that you look like uh, Yes, I but am. I agree with you, and I'm also that person. And I love a discount when I'm buying these things because of the shipping costs. Things cost extra money. All these things I want a coupon, and who brings me that coupon? My honey. sweet honey, just like honey. That's what Mariah Carey sings. Yes, it is. Honey saves you money. That's the bottom line. Every single time I order online, I don't go to the stores anymore. I don't. I just can't do it. And right. so I shop exclusively listen, online. Listen. And that's just, listen. If I can get into a brick and mortar mom and pop, I'll do it. I'll take you a step further. I love a mom and pop. I love it. I'll go to a mom and pop. Me too. I still go to a mom and pop, but I can't stop shop till I drop. <laughs> so when I get home from the mom and pop, I'm shopping again. I understand. And that's where Honey's helping me out and by giving me these. It's a, it's a, it's showing you coupon codes that it's it's just they're popping up as you're checking out. It's a free browser extension. As you're checking out, Honey's is popping up and saying, "Here are coupon codes for you to get some." Bucks knocked off of this order. No joke. I use it. I Sometimes I say like five bucks, but this, this, this times I, sp I say like $30. Yeah. And every time I go to a checkout on an online order and you see that that discount code, Very I'm always extreme. like, what? And I always go open another window in my browser and I go hunting for the code because if they're giving you the space, it probably has a code. Yeah. I would say I fail like 80% of the time. When this product came across our thing, honey. that you could just yeah. install Honey, yeah. and then they'll, they'll do it for you, yeah. it spoke to me like nearly no other yeah. product we have ever has. And, and and what I like about it is it's legit because it doesn't pop up on every single website you go to. It pops up on a lot of them, but you know when it's popping up, it's on. <laughs> and that's what's exciting about I it. I say like 10 bucks on flip-flops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, really fun. 17 man. million members have saved over two billion dollars yeah. you could go do a space you could be the next spacex with that money that we yeah. all save together so join honey.com slash taste buds it's totally free and it's install you install it in a few seconds that's it it's free you install it in a few seconds if you don't already have honey you could be straight up missing out on yeah. free savings by getting it you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting taste buds get honey for free at join honey.com slash taste buds that's join honey.com slash taste buds a uh, beer all right that means I quiet. <laughs> I'm in a good mood today. <laughs> <laughs> what? You spent the last one hour complaining and yelling. I did not. Were we both complaining and yelling? You were both complaining and uh, yelling. Thank you, Pip. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I can count on Pip once in a while. Somebody has my back around here sometimes. Pimpanzi. Pip. <laughs> I never heard that. That's great. That's good. Uh, okay. Oh, and, and I, by the way, I sat in on Hey Babe, too. Said what? I said I sat in on Hey Babe, too. Oh, you sat in on. Chris I sat, sat in for sat you on. On, on Taste Buds. Yes. I sat in on Hey Babe. And that those have come out. Yeah. So, uh, you know. They were two weeks ago. You know. And, uh, and, my, and my sitting in on Hey Babe doesn't lead to you eating a <laughs> tarantula. Okay? <laughs> so, so, sorry if I'm a little... <laughs> A stickler with some of the rules. Well, wait, wait, wait. Who brought, who brought, did we bring up tarantula to eat a tarantula? I was just pitching it. Why not? Because we brought it up on Hey Babe about how much would it take to eat a tarantula, but I don't think I could eat tarantula. I said I would this. do it. I said I would do it. I believe I said on air I would do it. Oh, no. And in fact, the doctor, yeah. by the way, just real quick, another I update real it. quick, because they'll see this before they see the next Hey Babe. Uh, tattoo artist reached out to me, has offered his services, and said he will gladly tattoo the Verrazano Bridge on Chris and the hoagie on me for a very nominal fee. <laughs> Wait a minute. Can he, can he tattoo anywhere? 
or her? Uh, he. T- t- Where should we film that? That's gonna be funny. That's wait, wait, I'm sorry. Project, you're right. getting a tattoo of a hoagie, and he's getting a tattoo hmm. of the. Who bridge? doesn't watch the shows when he's not on them? <laughs> <laughs> None of you. <laughs> then, I don't have the time to watch. I I tried yeah. to watch though. On taste. I tried to watch. I well, I didn't see the other one yet. It it it's releases in a day or two. It, no, no, no. Oh yeah, oh yeah. because you're. But because I watched, we're recording I this watched before a, like a, a, a really nice chunk of, of your episode. So on on uh, on taste buds, I challenged Chris that if he got a tattoo of the Verizon Bridge, I would pay for it. But he had to get it, and he was like, "Can I pick where it goes?" I go, like, "You can pick where it goes, but it has to be somewhere visible. It can't just be. You can't like get it on your hip or something. It's got to be someplace visible." And he was like, "Okay, I'll get it someplace visible. I promise. But I will get it." But did he want to do that? I forget how we got onto it. Okay. Honestly. And then on Hey Babe, I said, I would absolutely get a tattoo of a hoagie on me. That's so much I love hoagies. And Chris was like, I will pay for that if you get it. And I said, I'll fucking get it, dude. Don't put, right. put your money where your mouth is because I will get it. So we, we, we promised each other we will both get those tattoos if the other guy pays for the other guy. And then I have had uh, the, the very kind tattoo artist reached out to me and said, I will happily do the tattoos. Really? Yeah. Well, he said he'll happily do the Verrazano because he hasn't seen the Hoagie one yet. But I'm sure he'll do that too. I would look at his body of work first. I would also love just to add to it. Maybe you guys get each other's podcast tattooed on you. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's hysterical. I would do that. I would love to have the words "Hey Babe" on me. Where would you get the "Hey Babe" logo on you? Oh, I'd get it like on my arm. I'd get it where you could really see it, like every, so every bartender saw it. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, I might just do that anyway. <laughs> why don't you get uh, the Verrazano Bridge, but like the pillars are hoagies? You know, or the or the like you got the two stand like the two pillars, and then the bridge, the actual suspension part of the bridge, is a hoagie with the because, lines connected. Because to the it. reason he's getting the Verrazano Bridge is because he's soon to be Staten Island trash, right. and I'm gonna get the hoagie because I'm sandwich slinging trash. <laughs> <laughs> So one thing is for certain. <laughs> yeah. You guys are both trash. Yeah, we're trash. That's how we got onto it, I think. That's yeah. what it was. We were talking about you islands. You guys both think that each of you is pretty much he trash. He had just come back from Rhode Island. He was talking about going to Long Island, and he was talking about how he, he's moving to Staten Island. And I said, you have managed to occupy the only three shitty islands. <laughs> I go, I go... I go, anytime you hear island, you think sun and beaches. I go, what an awful trio of islands. You're garbage. And then he goes, I'll get the, I should have the Verrazano Bridge tattooed on me. And I said, Longest suspension in the United yeah. States, my friends. I said, I will pay for it if you get it. And he said, fine. And then a very similar thing happened on Hey Babe. Okay. Where I was talking about my hoagies. And I was like, I love hoagies. And he was like, you should have a hoagie tattooed on you, you piece of shit. And I was like, I would get that. Which I swear hoagie would I would get? get that. The Italian. Come on. Really? What the fuck kind of question is that? How could you and even then, ask and me then that? you would have him. Tattoo all the different ingredients in the Italian sandwich. You know what Provolone, I would love, salami, brother. You know what I love? A no joke, and it would be a serious, serious tattoo because it would be detailed. I would love one of those where it's all the layers, like one, two, three, four, with the lines, and then it, and then each one is labeled almost like in a science book. Oh, when they like kind of spread it apart, yeah, and they have like the like Wouldn't that be aw- tomato, that would onion, be awesome, like 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 that, like this. I I gotta show you something. That would be awesome. I actually want like, that tattoo. Like the, like the ingredients? Yes. Of it? Yeah. Yeah, I, like I in a science mean. book when it's like a dissected frog or whatever. Yeah, like this. Yeah. I'm going to show you something. By the way, we're approaching like 35 minutes, and oh, the, Jesus. Poll, the right. poll is crazy on this one, guys. Okay. <laughs> like, I took this picture of a deconstructed peanut butter and jelly sandwich like that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'd get it like that, except that I would make it look like old, old medical book text, like drawings. Yeah. That's fun. That'd be awesome. That's also good for your menus. That's cool. Yeah, I'm getting that. That's what I'm making Chris tattoo, buy me. Just tattoo well, you. We promised it wouldn't cost more than $200. That'd <laughs> just be great. <laughs> That's the bit. Make it like ten grand. <laughs> 200 bucks. You might as well just let I me I bet tattoo. you could get that tattoo for 300 bucks. Probably. I'd pay the you, difference. You, you should just get your menu tattooed on you. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> It's not. It's not out of the realm of possibility. It's a pass. It's a pass. Yeah. Are you still right. rocking the cold in the hot men now? Uh, right now we're just cold, but when we move into the new spot, there's going to be some variation. Okay, it's going to be good. Joey Rose's bar is opening in the east, the lower east, lower east side. side. I don't. We're not really officially announcing it. Should I have yet, said that? No, you can say it. we're going to be doing it. Okay. It's happening. It's happening. It's coming. Big big announcement coming very soon. All right. All right. Uh, all right. All right. We got to so, get to this fight. Beer. I am not, I have not been on board with the 
the boom in the last decade plus of the craft beer stuff. I, I When it comes to beer, I enjoy it. I love an ice-cold, crisp, cheap lager. That's where the buck stops for me. I think that a cold beer on a beautiful, warm day or with the right meal or after a long day, a cold beer is just like a crack it open and ah, can hit the spot. I under I recognize that positivity in beer. For me, it kind of ends there. Okay. I don't understand the people that can drink four, six, eight, ten beers in a row. It dehydrates me. It fills me up. I get a pounding headache. I hate hops. <laughs> hops can go take a walk. I hate hoppy beers. I hate the whole like, oh, you feel the notes of the honey and the oat. And uh, Come on. It's a beer. It tastes like beer. Oh, that's not a, true. A bud tastes like a bud. A right. high life tastes like a bud. <laughs> a paps pretty much that's tastes like so a bud. A rolling rock that's tastes so... like a bud. A coarse light tastes like a bud. Oh, a bud duh. light tastes like a bud. And I don't mean an old bud. I just mean that cheap lager, that beer tasting knob la- lager where there's no notes of anything. That's beer to me. It's that swash swilling beer. Warm beer is disgusting. Cold beer could be delicious. It goes down nice and smooth. It's light. I'm not drinking it because it's chocolate. I'm not drinking it because it has apple infused in it. I'm not drinking it because, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing keg stands and, and wearing a beer helmet. I, I, I resign that to college. I think beer is a young man's game. Oh, that's a, a, a young, a young person's you're game. You're digging it. You're I digging think your it's, own it's grave about, here. It's about you know, college and, 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 and keg parties and fraternities and sororities. And look, I know that beer, like a, a really good restaurant will have a really nice craft beer menu. I'm just saying I've never subscribed okay, to so that. First of I all, I think, I think I can appreciate it. You know, you got your wheat beer and you got your yeah, yeah. ales and you got your pills. I get all that, but I don't need all that. Okay. I'm satisfied with just a crisp, clean, so first regular, all, cheap lager. It could end right there. First of all, I'm, thank God it finally ended. Christ almighty, I thought you were going to talk to the end of the episode. First of all, nice betrayal of your best friend Q, who's got his own beer company. Nice God betray- bless him. It's, it's, a, nice it's a multi-billion dollar industry. It has nothing uh, to do with my personal opinions. But I'm just saying, it's honor is honor. and it's something I, beer. It's something I believe in. No, you not so much. But that's besides the point. Even let's his. He, he has great mixes and all that let's, stuff. Let's not get, he has great let's like not, different... Let's get let's not get sidetracked. I have my own beer. Let's not get the Prince Herb let's, Brew. Let's, it's hot pink and non-alcoholic. Let's it get, exists. Let's not get sidetracked. Swear to Christ. It's good. Yeah. Let's it's not, terrible. Let's not sidetrack. I with, had it. It tasted like soap. Something happened with the yeast, and it was the counts were off because they did it on the fly. We we have a great laugh about it because it's so funny. It was a limited run, and he did it, and then there was like something happened with the yeast, and so when I went to taste mine, I had one that was affected by the too long of the yeast, and it just tasted like like not really beer but it it isn't beer it's a non-alcoholic right. beverage so anyway shout out prince herb brew shout out rnh beer company it's that amazing. has no bearing on what he I'm just saying. figures out a way to talk even longer it's really a gift you have to just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk joe it's like the gymnastics oh my god <laughs> all right so here's the thing so first of all almost everything you said was wrong a bud is not a bud is not a bud is not a bud. Heineken tastes extraordinarily different from Budweiser. You mentioned Heineken. Yes, you did. You said a Heineken. Heineken. Yes, you did. You said a Heineken tastes like a bud. No, I didn't. That's pimp. Please. I think you said a Miller, right? No, he, he also said Miller. No. He named like eight beers. The oh, first yeah, one yeah. he said was Heineken. Name the monetary wager that you would like to place this second. I will get the money this second, and he can rewind this second, <laughs> and I will take your money right now. Twenty bucks. I did not say Heineken. I'll tell you what I said. I said Miller High Life. I said Pabst. I said Coors. I said... Uh, you said Heineken. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I didn't. I said Rolling Rock. You said No, you didn't say Rolling Rock. You said Heineken. I would love not... To, Pimp, is there a way to settle this right now? Um, it's just going to take too long. Well, now it's the winner in the next episode. Okay. Can I make my argument can without we do, you speaking? Can we do that for the next episode? Yes. Will we, you be able to yeah, listen? Yeah, 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 we can. Can I make okay. my argument without you speaking? Twenty dollars. Yes. <laughs> Pimp, you take my winnings, buddy. I'm giving you my winnings. <laughs> there you go. I'm gonna buy your beer. Yeah. 
You're going to lose. I just, it's just one Are of you like, done? I got to make my argument. We're is, 48 minutes into this thing. The thing is, I'm not done, and they get more bang for their buck then. They, they don't pay for this We're, podcast, and they still complain. Okay, I know. <laughs> I know. No, I, all I'm saying Stop is- Stop talking! All, I have to do my argument. Shut up! All I'm saying no, is- No, I'm not, there this, is no all I'm saying. I just here's want to the say point. really quickly- No, no, so, here's the point. No. Quickly, no, 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 no. I no, 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 no. I promise no, I won't no, speak. No, 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 no. I'm not listening, I'm not listening, I'm not listening. I promise I won't I'm not speak. Listening. After this one sentence, I promise I won't speak. I just want to make this known that this is the perfect, quintessential example for all our listeners and our viewers. When Joe says something with the utmost authority and confidence, mm -hmm. and it is not true, just look at the and this confidence is the perfect, that he said that I said Heineken, and when we go back to the, the first episode, one, you, it bur it's with burned me. into my head, and this is the perfect example for all of our listeners, how Sal says something, and then has no recollection of it, and then says he never said it, which is also oh, a, a running wait. gag on this show. I can't Okay, wait. so anyway, my argument is this. You are wrong, okay? A bud is not a bud is not a bud. Every beer you named, whether it was Heineken or not, Pabst, uh, Miller High Life, Bud, Bud Light, they all have vastly different flavors. It's why I re it's why I love a Miller High Life and hate a Budweiser. It's why I will not drink Amstel Light at a bar. It is why I will uh, only drink Bud Light but won't drink regular Bud. It is why I like Coors Light versus regular Coors. These beers all have very, very different flavors. And it's also why... When I go to a bar and I say, for instance, do you have Miller High Life? It's my favorite beer. I love it. And they go, we don't. But you know what we do have? We have Stella, and that's similar. No, it's not similar. It tastes extraordinarily different. So what I'm getting at is beer has very different flavors. That's the, to respond to the first part of your point. The second part is you said it's a young man's game. What? Beer is what? a young, beer is what? A young no, person's I'm, game. Hold on. I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. Hold on. Uh, you look. <laughs> You're looking good it's, lately, babe. It's, but thank you. Well, uh, you know, you too. But is you it know. due to the FitBot app? <laughs> it's no secret that both of us have a hard time with exercise, right? Don't lump me into you. Speaking of I lumps, don't have a hard time with exercise. You know why? Speaking of Because previous to FitBot, I didn't exercise. FitBot makes it a lot easier. Because I don't know how to work yes. out, and not every workout is for the same person, and I, I don't know what I'm doing. And I now also, I have FitBot, a personal app that I look up. It tells me it, 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 there's all different workouts tailored to what you might want to do. The repetition of exercise is what drives me nuts. You know what I mean? Yes. The, rep, the, the same thing over and over. I always find myself going on YouTube to try to find new videos. So I Muscle confusion. Yeah, my dumbbell things. And I'm, I'm always looking for new VR apps and things like this that I can do cardio stuff to. FitBot's great because it's an app that's just going to give you the chance to find diverse exercises uh, uh, and routines that fit your equipment goals and your needs. This is a personalized, tailored workout, basically. And that's kind of what we're all looking for because that's what's going to keep us in the mix, right? They like to say that nobody's perfect, but we could always be striving for better. I agree with that. Yeah. I like that the app adapts to you like as you're going. So it's like it's almost like having a personal trainer without the fees of a personal I trainer. Agree. Because the more progress you make, they adapt the workouts to reflect that. Right? I agree. I agree. And that's what I was always made me fall off with personal trainers is after a while I go, man, I can't keep spending this money every month. It's too much money. Yeah. Then you miss some sessions and you lose money or whatever it is. And let's be honest also, perfectionism, perfection, whatever you want to call it, it's an illusion. Come on, guys. Unless just you're Justin to get Silver, it's an illusion. We're just trying to get better. <laughs> We're not trying to get perfect. So whether you're exercising three days a week or twice a day or every workout is signed. So whether you're exercising three days a week or twice a day, whatever it is, every workout is scientifically proven with the FitBod app to be better than the last. Pick up the pace on your fitness journey with FitBod today, and your future self will thank you. To our listeners, I mean, there's really, a lot of times we do these ads, there's nothing to lose. I mean, if you're thinking of going to the gym, but you don't have a gym membership, if you can't get out because you've been in the house because of quarantine, if you can't afford a trainer, if you just want some type of motivation, why not try it out? Get 25% off your membership at fitbod.me slash taste buds. By the way, it's only 10 bucks a month, this thing, nine ninety nine a month, and you're getting 25% off of that or 60 bucks for the year if you want to blow yeah, it out the egg great that's 25 percent <laughs> off at fitbod.me slash taste buds babe i love cuts 
Did I you get your cuts. cuts in the mail? I got my cuts in the mail. I have Cuts is a clothing company that has a line of t-shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts, everything you're going to go polos um and they are basically the, the whole idea is that they are clothing for every occasion. Mm-hmm. So you could dress them up or down. And I if you know clothing and you know fashion, you know that the most and I'm and this is me talking. <laughs> you know that the most the most <laughs> The most important thing is to have versatility. I agree. And to have your basics and to be able to layer and to be able to dress up and dress I down. I couldn't agree more. Those are the hallmarks. Those are the big, the foundation of a good wardrobe. Yeah, and Cuts is here to help with that from their signature buttery soft P-Y-C-A. That's pronounced Pika yeah. T. Uh, to their pro tri-blend tees, to their cozy Hyperloop French Terry fabric hoodies. Cuts elevates clothing staples with cutting-edge fabric technology. GQ magazine. That's Gentleman's Quarterly. Uh, called the Classic Pika Pro Tri-Blend Tee, the only shirt worth wearing. That's high praise. Uh, each piece is crafted with custom-engineered fabric and a comfortable fit without compromising on timeless, universally flattering style. So you, I love a timeless style because I've been an old man since I was 10. Jeans and a T, <laughs> babe. Jeans and a T. Yeah. You know, no, if you like if you like me, when you're ready to go to get a whole bunch of like new like T-shirts and stuff, I never know like who to go to or where to choose. Every brand like has their own like different levels and yeah, it's just confusing find, you want to find one that works and just go give it's me just soft 18. it's good it's yeah. quality and you dress it up and it's like it takes all the guesswork out so anyway go to cutclothing.com slash taste buds for 15 percent off and access to anniversary events all month long that's cutsclothing.com slash taste buds for 15 percent off and access to anniversary Well, what do we mean by anniversary events long. this mark month's cuts fifth anniversary they're doing it bid with Two collection drops, a product launch, and a week-long special event. Join the celebration. Get 15% off site-wide, no matter what you choose. Just go to cutsclothing.com slash tastebuds. How many old men do you see sitting on porch? Sure. Let me shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you have a way of taking what I said and then arguing against... You, a different thing than I you, said. No, no, no. You said beer is a young man's game. No, no. I'll go back to you said, a butt is a butt is a butt. What I was saying no, no, was, no, you said, for me, you said, I don't let like me bells respond. and whistle beers. Let me, I like I understand. all the beers that I you, named. But then you also, said beer is, you also said beer is a young man's game because you get too full from it and you get this and that and that. It's for young. That's not why. You, you, I just think well, that college said, kids, they, you they, said they it's have a, keg you parties said and keg stands. Yeah. And old men sit on- college drink is what I mean. And old men- As opposed to wine. And every old man in the country- Country drinks beer on his front porch, and uh, I go into a bar. I know what I always see in a bar, pimp. You know what I always see when I go into a dive bar is six men in their sixties drinking a fine uh, Merlot. No, you see guys with beers. No lined one's up. ever seen six men, men in their sixties drinking I'm a fine Merlot. I'm saying it's beer. It's beer. <laughs> Is a is is a drink for all ages. It is not an old man's. It is not a young all man's I, game. All I no, meant that, that, is that doesn't it's a college matter. You drink. I'm that's resp- all I meant. No, it's but it's but that's like saying vodka is a college drink because because kids in college drink absolute or uh, tequila is a college drink because the kids shoot Cuervo. It's a it's a bad argument, Sal. You made a bad argument, and I'm now I'm not even arguing anything. Argument. I'm just anyway, making. A, I'm just saying something point, that I believe. Bad point. I believe that beer is prominent Lastly, in college. Lastly, is that is that true or false? Show. What? Beer Predominant? Is, is prominent in college. In well, college are party. prominent in college. It doesn't mean Joe, it's a young man's thing. Is beer prominent yes. at college parties? Prominent in many places. College parties is one of them. Right. You and know what so else is prominent at college said. parties? Whiskey. Because people do shots. So is Goldschlager. So is Jägermeister. It, it, there's a million things prominent at college sure, parties. But you could attach, you could very simply attach beer to college life. Could you not? You could also simply attach it to army life. You could also simply attach okay. it to, to cowboy life. This is and, what it's and, like and, talking to somebody. I mean, I, I, it's just... You a, can't just admit... This isn't even a sticking point. I'm not even making a point of contention here. It's a bad you can't point. just agree that beer is a college drink? I'm saying beer is a universal drink. Sure. I know it's, it's not universal. This is what you said. Yes, it is. Yes, you, it is. Your, your tongue and everything got messed no, up, but you t- said universal. I meant to say it that way because I was saying it. you're a shill. That's okay. what I was saying. Universal. Uh, now, so here, and, and lastly, about the flavors and the infusions and all these things. I agree with you. I'm not a huge fan of an infused flavor of beer or whatever, but here's what I like about beer over wine. It does go with a meal, just like wine does, as you said. But here's what I like I about beer over that. wine. You did. You said beer goes with a nice meal sometimes. Or oh, I thought you said I said that about wine. No, and I'm saying wine goes wonderfully with a meal. 
They, these are the two liquors that are alcohols that go with a meal, in my opinion. Correct. And maybe a martini once in a while, depending I'm not on what positive. You're oh, yeah, I mean, a beer goes with bar fare, sure. Oh, a beer with oysters, a beer yeah. with seafood, a beer sometimes with a steak. I'm uh, going wine. A beer on, with uh, pizza. All those meals. A beer wine. with pizza. Um, anyway, the point is this. What I appreciate about beer over wine, and I do like wine, is that when somebody says to you, this is uh, to this extent hoppy, to this extent infused with blueberry, to this extent the amount of alcohol, and it costs this much, you have a way better shot with beer in getting what you just paid for flavor-wise and also money-wise. The problem with wine is this. Any hack can pour grape juice into a bottle and tell you that it's it's a limited edition, that it's rare because it came from this region, that it's this and that, and charge you 20 times what it's worth, and you will never know if that's the case or not because wine always comes back to the same place, and every, what are they called? Small, uh, small, 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 small what are they called? White sommelier. People? Sommelier. Every sommelier that I know has always told me the same thing. It's about your taste. It's about what you like. It's about you. It doesn't matter if it's if it's agreed yellow tail or if it's this. But that's a problem for me because I know if a guy is selling me a twenty dollar bottle of beer, there's a reason it's twenty dollars. There's a reason it costs that. And most of the time when I've rolled those dice, I've gotten something where I went shit. That's a twenty dollar beer with wine. I like wine, man. You bring me the $75 glass or the $25 glass or the $5 glass, I can almost never so why tell isn't that a drastic plus? difference. Just spend the 5 bucks and enjoy your wine then. Why isn't that a plus? It's not a plus, but I think it, I, because I think it is a, I think it's an almost impossibly, uh, um, it's an almost impossibly qualifiable beverage because of that. Because of that. When there's so not, much room for here, personal preference. But, but I've, had a, I've had a beer at a bar where someone cracks it open, hands it me, it's a $20 beer, it's a delirium or something, and I drink it, and I'm like, I hate this. It's disgusting. <laughs> you can hate it. That's what I'm, that's, you're making the same point I made about beer. No, no, no. I need a $2 beer to keep me happy. That's it. I don't, conversely, how I don't like all the bells and whistles and flavor profiles in beer, I don't mind it in wine. Because I only, I'm just telling you my personal preference is I like that basic, crisp, cheap lager flavor and that's it that's how i like i don't need notes in my beer with wine i like that i could have a cab or something from one year or one vineyard or one company that has different notes and flavors than the other one and i like that it's just not all the same i mean same goes with beer but i mean i celebrate that in wine personally i think i've i, I wouldn't have had the same probably i wouldn't have taken wine maybe 10 years ago but wine right now has opened up to me in ways that beer could never. I just can't picture drinking a beer with with every meal or beers all the time. You know, but a lot of people can. Sure, but I'm arguing for wine, and I'm telling you why I'm choosing wine. Right? Could you picture drinking wine with every meal? Not every single meal, but I could have wine with pizza, with pasta at a fancy restaurant, with oyster, with seafood, with a steak. I, I mean, wine is great. It's like you can consume it slowly. And enjoy it. I feel like you can just enjoy it a little bit more. I, I just feel like it has more places where it's applicable. I, uh, at the end of the night, I mean, I guess some people come home, crack open a beer when they want to relax. Some wine. people come Most, home and crack what open I'm a beer. Is, what I'm saying is I do the same thing with a wine. Like anything a beer can do, I've I can do it with, with wine. I've d I, have a, I, I open a bottle of wine, sit down and, uh, with my dinner, or if I'm watching a television show and I'll have a nice glass of wine. I think, I think wine is more... It's just, I don't know, it's just more sophisticated, I which, think which you, no I one could argue. I, I mean, it just... It no, just, I, a lot of people would argue that. A lot of people, especially especially beer reps. When you go into a craft beer uh, distillery, or, or sorry, brewery, when you go into a real beer spot, okay, a place that really specializes it, and you see 80, literally 85 taps of specialty beers and craft beers. I, I, I would think any one of them would take big issue with you in saying that beer is not a, as I think most of those people drink. that go to that place that has 85 taps and I've been there are a little bit of like tools. Wow. I, there's, there's a, wow. There's a, all the right, working let me, man's let me, a tool. Let me correct Third that. episode, you've put the working, working man into the tool, tool. I drink rolling category. rock till I die. <laughs> working man, all I'm saying is there's a Venn diagram of, you know that guy, 
Have you seen, you know that, have you seen, you've seen I Think You Should Leave, right? See the first season where Tim Heidecker plays that guy when they're playing yeah. charades and he, all he does is. You think that's a craft beer? That's a wine guy. All he har- a thousand percent. All he harps on is yeah. like, oh, like the jazz, jazz guy. guys. That's and a wine guy. record guy's collection show. and he's like, yeah. a, he's a bit of a boner. Yeah. Yeah. I think that. I that's think a that, wine like, guy. This, if there's a Venn diagram, right. I think that that guy, it, he, he's a, he's a craft beer guy. No, that's a wine guy. So. I used to run a bar and I used to uh, have a craft beer night where companies would come and give out free samples and talk about the taste. It was really cool. But there was a nice slice of the people that came to that that were real hard ons. That just and, were like, oh, oh my and beer. you and you think you're gonna find you, you think you're gonna rub elbows with Andy Cap at a wine tasting? <laughs> <laughs> no, but think about how people collect wine. Like when you go to someone's oh, yeah, house. Yeah, that's not pretentious or obnoxious. No, no, no. When no, a no. guy buys a, a buys a house with a special basement in it just for his wine. That's not what I mean. What I mean is <laughs> yeah, like, that's not that's not what I mean yeah. wine is wine is collected like in a way that beer is not. Why? I think wine has more to offer in that respect. Well, you can't beer. You can't keep beer as long as wine. First of all, sure. Okay, and but also, but also like, too. Uh, but you don't go to someone's house and they have like, they don't go. <laughs> I have a selection. Actually, I do. Also, but they don't. They aren't like I have a selection of twenty beers downstairs. But also too. But also too. Every MTV Cribs I've ever seen. That's all that was in the fridge. But anyway, but uh, also too with wine. This is also why it's such a pretentious thing. You watch documentaries about wine. Okay. You got these guys, literally, one of the documentaries I watched was the Koch brothers, the richest brothers in all of the country that influenced politics, whatever else. This guy's in his, in his wine cellar, like, showing literally bottles of wine that Thomas Jefferson owned that he paid $250,000 a piece for. And then he's, like, but saying, like, you know, I'd never drink one of them. I just, that's a lot of sh- bullshit with wine, too. That's- I'd never drink it. I just have it so you can see... How much better I am than poor people. Oh, let me let me let me let me tell you right now, that whole nonsense, I don't I don't subscribe to that either. I think it's complete bullshit. I'm not a wine snob. Same as you. I could taste something and say like it, don't like it. I've only just started drinking red wine in the last year, as a matter of fact. But I, I'm not taking that away. But that's not how I'm pitting wine versus beer. That there are I mean, I just said that like there's hard-ons that love that craft beer, and I guess the same thing goes for wine. So I'm not really... But I'm just saying, for me, as far as like how I consume wine, the rate at which I do it, the circumstances in which I have it, I just... If I had to eliminate one from my life at this point, I would be eliminating beer and keeping wine. Wine serves me more in my lifestyle right now than beer does. I also say this, which is a thing we often discuss on this program. Uh, program. Uh, yeah, a bad beer is 10,000 times better than a bad wine. Bad wine is brutal. Bad beer is, you. if you got a, a natty ice, it would not be your favorite thing in the world, but you could get that down and you'd be like, eh, all right, I don't want another one, but that was fine. If you get like a bad, you go to a bar. Well, it's turned, you mean? No, no, no. I, no, no, no. I don't mean that's turned. I mean that's terrible. Okay. That's poorly made. Corked. You don't mean it's corked. Like when you go to a bar, when or... you go to a bar and it says wine, red or white. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. It is, it is, it's t- like a bad white v- wine tastes like vinaigrette dressing. It tastes like you're drinking salad dressing. If you had to eliminate one of those two beverages from your life from now on, you would eliminate wine and you would keep beer? Based on what I just said, absolutely. Really? I just don't see myself you can't go, being look, able to consume beer at a level where I would keep it over wine. You look at it like this. Think about the options with wine. You could do a spritzer, throw a little club soda in that, so some, some, some ice. Some people like to drink their red wine with ice. Yeah. Some I'll people, you, what about sangria? I'll it's give, wine I with fruit sangria. in it. I hate sangria. I hate it. I really? I hate it. I hate it. Really? And you want it to... I on, hate it. On a beautiful day, you don't I love it. I hate some it. Some nice diced... I hate it. Fruit. You want me to shut down the whole why you keep beer over wine argument in one fell swoop? I'll Please, tell you do why. it finally. I'll tell you why. Shot in a beer, buddy. You're not giving that up. On a Friday night, you're hitting the town. You're telling me you want to bar hop with me and drink wine the whole time? I'm Come saying on, that man. I would have to do some, some really soul searching there because I know a shot in a beer is a thing, but I could also just take a shot. And if you think I can't do a wine in a shot... That's disgusting. Watch me. Watch me spread my wings and fly. That's disgusting. I will do a shot of whatever, <laughs> and then I will sip on wine. Uh, this, but, 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 you had something up that you 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 really wanted me to hit there. That we, 
Wine comes cheap. It's a known fact you can buy good beer much cheaper than the best of wines. You can, however, buy quality wine at a lower price than quality beer. It thus turns out wine is cheaper than beer since people rarely go out for the best of the two. Most usually they purchase a reasonably priced drink when in need of relaxation. You are likely to find a higher number of quality cheap wine brands in your local store than you think of. Uh, I, I mean, I wouldn't disagree with that, but that, you know, that's sort of an unfair point for this reason. Everybody and their French uncle has a vineyard now. I mean, you know, I can't go... I can't, is that a? Is that? I don't a, know. I just sounded right. I don't know. I Let's think it might be. Let's put that on merch. Yeah. yeah. Every but I'm telling you, their French uncle has a what? Has a vineyard now. <laughs> what a statement to use in an <laughs> argument as an anchor to your argument. Everybody with a French uncle has a I vineyard mean, dude, now. I mean, dude, you'll go to the. You'll go to the. You'll go to a, a wine shop, right? <laughs> the wine shop, or even you'll even just go to a liquor store that also carries wine. And from week to week, you will not see many of the same brands on the shelf. You will go to, you know how many times I've gone to parties and met people that have their own wine? It happens no. constantly. Really? Not constantly, but it's happened It's happened way more well, than I've met people that people, have. People make their own beer, people make their own wine at home. But Q is the only guy I know that has an official, this is my own brand of beer. Sure. I know, I've met several people over the years at parties that are like, no, I have wine, it's a store, you could buy it, it's called this. And really? Like, yeah, because they collaborate with five other rich men, and they, they, well, that's crazy. And they but get can I more talk about, Can I just talk about the essence and the uh the 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 culture of of wine at least w wine is you crack open a bottle it's very communal you know like you split a bottle of wine over dinner cool if i want to drink a bottle of wine and four glasses it's like the perfect about you get the four glasses you load it up you go to bed whatever you want drinking a bottle of wine is not unheard of you know see i feel but, that but also like you crack open a wine and and, and everyone's sharing the wine you know i Jesus, Jesus, you go to church. Yeah. They give you the body of Christ funny, and the blood of Christ. The blood of Christ is wine. It's funny. That's funny that you mentioned Jesus because last night I, I just, I rewatched Last Temptation of Christ. <laughs> is this a call for help? No. I rewatched you, you just were home alone and you threw on the Last I Temptation threw it of Christ? On. I wanted to watch Jesus have S. <laughs> Wait, you're, you're home alone. Let's do a profile on this boy right here. Let's do a profile on this man right here. He's home alone, and he throws on Last Temptation of Christ. Did you watch it in full? In full, oh, right oh, the Oh, my God. Heavy. Just Ate watch dessert it. during it. <laughs> during torture of Ate, Christ. <laughs> Ate dessert during it. Now, I say the Is dessert Jim, till... Jim Caviel or whatever the hell? Caviel? No, that's Caviel. Passion of the Christ. Oh, what am I thinking? You're thinking of the Scorsese movie, Last Temptation of Christ, where he comes off the cross, and then he oh, lives oh, a man. Oh, Oh, life. That's Christ. why I said I wanted oh. to watch Jesus have ass. He has uh, uh, he has sex in the third uh, act. Oh, I'm thinking uh, of the passion because of he the becomes. Christ. No, I thought Passion of the Christ. No, yeah. Yeah. Damn, okay. he doesn't all have right. sex in Passion of the Christ. Uh, well, I, I don't, make it I to don't the remember. End. <laughs> I don't know if I watched it. It's a Jesus doesn't have sex in anything, guys. Just a heads up, except for Last Temptation of Christ, right? <laughs> Which is why people well, I just, threatened Scorsese I just with his life. I just when he put it out. Seen <laughs> a Passion of the Christ in so long, and I wasn't going to con. con Look, I wasn't going to. I wasn't going to contest you. Listen, uh, here's the thing. I thought that he was at home watching pa Passion. Why is Jesus having sex? Listen, I got news for you guys. Lamp, that goes last, against the book. Last Temptation is no walk in the park either. All right, it's just why it's not you, a pick me up. Why are you watching religious drama? I don't know. I, it's a Scorsese movie. Were you just drinking beer at the no, beer? I just hadn't seen it in a while, and I was like, you know, it's on. I want to watch it. Right, so well, I watched it. Why is wine he sex is it? the blood of Christ? Is my point? You ask a question though, real quick. Why yeah. is he sex it? Because the it's a fictional account that what if he did not take the wrath of or the path of saving the world and just became a normal man. Oh, last temptation. He gets tempted at the end of his life. Like, Jesus, you could be a normal man. Then he sees what it would be like, and they oh. show it. Oh, wow. I always... Yeah. I always... But then he, he refutes it at the end and, be, and stays Jesus and, and saves the world. All right. All right. Yeah. Well, my, my point, though... <laughs> yeah, it is. Sorry. Yeah. No, but my, but my point is, you know, wine... I had a point... Yeah, is the drink of Christ. I know that, but that wasn't my that wasn't my actual point before that. You said sharing and everything, and I have a counterpoint to your sharing thing with the wine. Did you ever walk summertime, backyard barbecue? It's sunny, everybody's in their shorts or their jorts, as I do it, okay? Everybody's having a great time. The grill's going. You're walking up the driveway. You smell the grill, the charcoal smoke. Your boys are in there. Where are you at, dude? I'm, I had to make a stop. And you walk in... 
holding that 12 pack of Miller High Life bottles and you put it right down between you and your fourth boys and you pull it open. It's not a college start, drink, though. You not start a college drink. drink. I do you that. I'm I mean, a 43. College I do scenario. that now. I do that All now. Right, so let me paint the picture about wine. I have a great I'm just friend with a, a new way place. To share. It's yeah. awesome. He's having everybody over for a dinner party. It's going to be the food's going to be out of control. Everyone threw on a nice college shirt, maybe. There's a, there's a whole... There's good music playing. There's a, there's a lot of good company. We sit down, steaks are being served, and someone pops open that cork, and I hear, <laughs> and the bottle of red wine is being poured. Oh, man, that just pursed my lips. I can't wait to taste that red wine before my steak at a beautiful dinner party with adult people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Like, he's like, I kick open the door with a 12-pack. My boys are there. That's no. like the college life. And I'm like, hey, I got invited to a dinner party. It's a lot of great guys and gals. There's going to be some good conversation. I love when you do this. I love when Candles you try to portray yourself <laughs> okay. to this audience as someone with you class and dignity. Parties? I love when you try to do this, Sal. You I love it. You come here for dinner parties? I have only stood in circles with you getting shit faced. <laughs> I have never sat in a decent table with nah. you and then drank nah. wine. All right. Let's go to the phones, Pimp. We're at an hour. Let's see what the comments say here. I saw, by the way, I accidentally saw a comment early and I was like, I hope we find it again. I almost said put a pin in it. All right. It was my, I, I can't imagine somebody's going to beat it. It was hard not to laugh when I read it. You went to the phones last week uh, and uh, no one gave you shit. Nobody gave me shit. Well, I'll go to the phones in an hour. That's no problem. It's, it's when you like to rush to the phones. Our show's supposed to be 30 minutes long. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, what do we got? Beer is for disrespectful frat boys. Wine is for men. Very good. I'm a beer guy, but straight up on taste alone, wine is so much better. That's another thing. If you just stop for one moment. Beer you... literally tastes like cat. Okay, no, wait, there's my favorite comment after this one. Okay. Beer literally tastes like cat piss. Only baddies drink wine. Here's This was my favorite one so far. What am I, a 32-year-old mom updating her Pinterest catalog beer 100%? Nah, That's let me ask great. you a question. Do you no? Know? You don't like that? I don't love it. I loved it. Do, let me ask you a question. Let's not, let's not negate a huge factor that beer really doesn't taste good. Yes, it does. I've learned to like it. I think it tastes good now. You learn to like the wine first time too, I buddy. Beer, I was at a uh, a barbecue. My parent, my, my mom threw a barbecue in the yard, and we had people over, like a pool party type thing, and I was like, 16 something like that whatever i mean i, I might have tasted it one other time but anyway i thought i was like cool so i cracked open i remember it a rolling rock and my mom's like don't do that i'm like why i'm home it's cool ma like I, I think i was 17 and i'm like what's the big deal and my and like i i guess i was testing it and my mom was like you you shouldn't really drink that and i'm like ah it's no big deal mom it's one beer i'm home like what's the big deal and i and i had never really had beer before and i tasted it and my whole body shivered and recoiled in disgust because it's an acquired taste for sure. And so is wine. I drank it. You know what but I did? I, I, I went into the bathroom. I dumped the rolling rock. And then I walked out and I and I just kept talking because I didn't want people to... After I made the whole hullabaloo that I wanted to... It's no big deal. I could drink. I'm 17. And then I thought it was so gross I didn't want it. I dumped it in the sink, then came out... And I, I, I perpetrated that I that I actually drank the beer. I mean, so I don't know what to say, tell you that at 17 wrong. you couldn't stomach a beer. But uh, but I'm just saying, you know, but, but uh, if we really, I know no, that we but all I, like I, it now. I had a different, could, I had a you, different experience that. Uh, the first, first time, time I tasted beer, you said, this is delicious? First time I tasted beer, I was six years old. I loved it. I would beg my dad for a sip every time he had one. Got it. Okay. Every time I, no, <laughs> no, don't dismiss it. It's true. Every time my dad drank a beer, I'd beg him for a sip. I loved the taste of it. Okay. I think you'd be in the minority. Wine? I think you'd be in the minority. I don't think so. people right now will. Not wine say that they love when the taste you of see beer, wine, but it is acquired. When it is you not good. So is wine. So is when you see wine, you think it's going to taste like grape juice, and it and you're like, whoa! It, it burns like acid. It tastes nothing like it. Wine is an acquired taste. What alcohol is not an acquired taste? I think beer is more acquired taste than Please, wine. You're nuts, dude. Why? Then I guess college kids should all be drinking wine. Then if that's their first drink, and it so it so easily goes down, right? Why aren't they all drinking as wine? As a then? society, we could all admit we acquire the taste of beer and love it now. But just you acquire the taste, of taste of test face value. Beer is a weird tasting. So beverage. is wine. All alcohol is a weird more tasting. so beer. No, more so wine. And you proved it with your college kids point. Anyway, let's go back to the phones. <laughs> Wine is classier and tastes slightly better, and I've gotten drunk way more easily on wine than beer, so yeah, I gotta go with wine. I like this next one. Beer tastes like carbonated bread water. Wine tastes like somebody pissed in grape juice. They both suck, but I guess I'll vote beer. 
Uh, it'll never cease to amaze me that my fellow men would prefer to guzzle down a bottle of stale Iron Kids bread in liquid form. Uh, Vikings drank beer, dainty... <laughs> Vikings drank beer, dainty Frenchmen drank wine. Would you rather drink the drink of a warrior or a snob beer all day? That my, That's our winner so far. So far. I don't drink much for sure... What's this? I don't drink much, but for sure wine beer tastes like a life of regrets. Do you want to read some of these? Sure. If wine yeah. if wine wins this, I will lay on a bed of salt and paper cuts on my nipples for the Patreon. I couldn't be more confident in my old pal beer. Okay. Beer is for the people. Wine is for people who think they are fancy while scarfing down breadsticks at Olive Garden <laughs> or Christy Comedy, a.k.a. Christy Pinot Noir. I'd rather drink piss than beer. Then again, I can't tell the goddamn difference. <laughs> <laughs> wine, that's a good that's a good one. Wine people learn about the different types of wine and then act like they aren't alcoholics because it came with an education. Right. People drink wine because they think they look high class. Give me that low class beer and let me have fun. As someone who works at a wine shop, I feel I have an obligation to say wine. But even if I didn't have that job, beer still tastes like piss. So who's the real winner? Okay. Gonna go with wine on this one because I haven't found a beer I like yet. Okay. Too much wine gives me a migraine. Too much beer got me pregnant three <laughs> times. So I guess it's a toss-up. All right, that's our winner that's right good, there. That's good. Alicia Catron. Uh, follow Alicia at A L I C A T seven seven eight three on Twitter. You're our winning tweet. Thanks, Alicia. All right, Pam. Well, this is going to be telling. It's. I think if I if my aud- if my Twitter followers skew Don't show more us yet, Pam. skew more younger. Or more male, I think beer's going to win. If my Twitter followers skew more older or more female, I think wine's going to win. All right, let's go. Oh. Holy shit! Oh, you're going to need a glass of wine after that one, buddy. I am in shock. <laughs> I am in shock. 66% goes to beer against wines, 33. Well, I'm in shock. Wow. I mean, at least I thought it would be like neck and neck. The whole episode. Really? I, I swear to God, I thought it was going to be a dead heat. I thought it was going to be a tie. I thought it was going to be a tie. Wow, me too, man. When you told me, you got you know what it when is. When we discussed Honestly, this, and you said wine is more of a metropolitan, cosmopolitan beverage, maybe then. <laughs> Well, I think, you know, honestly, you have in between, like, you know, you got the major cities, but you got in the middle of the country, they're drinking beer over wine. Hey, well, listen, you can phrase it however you want to phrase it. Here's how I'd like to phrase it. Beer is America. Still love you, buddy. <laughs> I love you, too. Hey, Spuds, they come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste Buds, man, yeah, they come into the mic, I'm talking Taste Buds.